certainly isn't putting a damper on opening day of the Kenton County Fair. And that's where we go to Nine On Your Side reporter Amy Wattis, who is live with how everyone's dealing with the heat there, including our furry friends. Amy? I'm here at the uh, Kenton County Fair at the Petting Zoo, actually. Here that need extra care during these 90 degree temperatures, like uh, these sheep over here. And joining me now is Jeff Harper. He is the owner of all of these animals here at the petting zoo. And obviously, it's a difficult task to keep these animals hot during the 90 degree temperatures. If you want to tell me what you have to do to do that, first of all, we keep them with fresh water all the time. They're large consumers of water. Uh, we keep fans on them, especially the pigs. Um, and then I will spritz during the day in my pigs and so forth to get some water on them. Um, maybe make a little place for there. I can get in the mud in the, in the barn, which keeps them cool. And um, lots of water. Okay, okay. Now I know there are, you mentioned the hogs and the chickens, which we don't realize are the, the ones that get the hot, they need cold down the most. Mm -hmm. Why is that? Pigs don't sweat. Uh, the chickens, you know, they're. Feathers keep them warm, and they'll have they spread their feathers out, and um, they don't sweat either. They get cool from the air that they breathe, so that hot air going in keeps them hotter. Okay. All right. I'm sure you guys uh, are probably pretty hot yourselves. And um, what do you do out in this heat to keep cool when you're working eight or longer hours a day? Lots of water and Gatorade and air conditioned tractor. <laughs> That's the best method, huh? Okay, well, thank you so much thank for you. joining us. And uh, the, uh, the petting zoo will be open until 11 o'clock tonight, so make sure you bring that bottle of water if you're going to come down to the Kenton County Fairgrounds. Amy Wattis, 9 on your side, live from Kenton County Fairgrounds.